In this video, we will discuss the three most popular types of transducers. The active elements of a curved array or convex array transducer are arranged in a curved line. This creates a sector shape image and the large face or aperture produces a wide near field image. You will see a broad view near the transducer surface and deeper within the body. This makes curved array transducers popular for scanning the abdomen or fetus where a large field of view is important. A phased array's transducer elements are arranged in a row and the face or aperture is fairly small. The elements are steered electronically to produce a pie-shaped image. The near-field image quality is typically not as good as convex array because there are fewer elements. The smaller footprint is able to access smaller imaging windows, such as cardiac images, between ribs. The active elements in a linear array are arranged in a straight line and typically not steered. This results in evenly spaced beams and the best resolution. Higher frequencies are usually used in linear transducers, which works well for vascular and superficial soft tissue studies. Let's move on and talk about scanning planes. Before we discuss the four scanning planes, let's go over transducer orientation. Most transducers have a small bump, mark, or indicator at one end of the transducer. This indicator corresponds to the first element of the transducer and will have a matching indication marker on the left side of the ultrasound image. If the transducer is placed on the anterior of the patient's body with the mark directly toward the patient's head, anatomy toward the head will display on the viewer's left. Turning the transducer 90 degrees counterclockwise will result in a transverse image with anatomy on the patient's right displayed on the viewer's left. The first scanning plane we will discuss is the transverse plane. The transverse scanning plane runs parallel to the ground separating superior from inferior or the patient's head from the patient's feet. Next, we will look at the longitudinal or sagittal plane. The sagittal plane is oriented perpendicular to the ground, separating the patient's left from the patient's right. The next plane we will look at is the coronal plane. The coronal plane separates the patient's anterior and posterior, or the front from the back. The last plane we will discuss is the oblique plane. The oblique plane is oriented neither parallel to nor at right angles from the other planes. This is used to image structures that are positioned at angles inconsistent with the other planes. Three imaging modes, B mode, M mode and Doppler. B mode or brightness mode is the most commonly used mode in ultrasound. B mode provides real-time structural information using different shades of gray in a two-dimensional image. The brightness of the displayed structure is also known as echogenicity. Strong return signals, high amplitude, will display increased brightness or echogenicity. M mode stands for motion mode. It captures returning echoes along one line of the real-time image and displays them over a time axis. M-Mode is used to capture and quantify motion information such as cardiac motion or fetal heartbeat. The M-Mode image can be measured to quantify motion over time. An example of this would be beats per minute. Doppler looks at frequency shift caused by sound waves interacting with moving targets such as red blood cells in a vessel. The ultrasound system expects a signal sent to a fixed location to return to the transducer in a specified amount of time. If the target is a specific location in a vessel with moving blood, the reflected sound waves will return earlier or later depending on the direction of the moving blood flow. 
color and pulsed wave Doppler are used to visualize and quantify blood flow information. Pulsed wave Doppler samples a specific spot in a vessel and accurately displays the highest and lowest speed of the moving blood. Color Doppler shows the approximate speed and direction of blood flow inside the vessel. A red color is typically used to display blood directed toward the transducer, and a blue color is used to identify blood away from the transducer. A spectrum is used to measure the velocity of blood flow. Another method used to display blood flow is power Doppler. In this case, the ultrasound system looks at the strength or amplitude of the returning signal. This method is more sensitive and useful to display slow-moving blood. Let's review transducer types and imaging modes. The most common transducer types are curved array, phased array, and linear array. Curved array produces a large field of view, including the near field and far field. Phased array offers a small face to get between the ribs. And a linear array provides high-resolution imaging and a large near field image. Different scanning planes are used to visualize patient anatomy depending on the position and orientation of the anatomy being scanned. The scanning planes used are transverse, sagittal, coronal, and oblique. Various imaging modes were discussed. B mode, or brightness mode, is the most common ultrasound imaging mode. M mode, or motion mode, quantifies motion over time. Doppler mode is used to evaluate velocity of blood flow. Color Doppler assigns color to blood flow based on the flow direction toward or away from the transducer. Power Doppler assigns a color to blood flow based on the strength or amplitude of the returning signal. Now that you understand the basics of ultrasound, you are ready to proceed to targeted anatomy tutorials for your specialty.